Hey guys, it's Wolf of Valhalla Gaming, and we're back with Canarium, because aliens. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna start the game. Uh, last time we left off, we had just figured out a bunch of puzzles. Uh, there was the drawing one that took me, like, an hour because it was stupid, and you had to be, like, precise and everything, I don't know. Still a great game, still loving it, uh, still loving the mythos and everything that's going into it, so we'll see how it goes. Oh god, I forgot we left off in this place. Um, flashlight. I completely forgot we had left off coming into here. Rut row raggy. What was that? I'm already terrified. Is there anything going on in here? No? What are these? Those bells? Can I hit it? Oh god, you can't hit them. Um, this way it is. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me get my crystal out, because, uh, this guy has helped me quite a bit. Oh, gonna have a vision. Something's happening here. What's happening? Is there a dead body here? Oh, are those gonna come to life and try and kill me? What is happening? Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, Oh no, it's the lizard people. Hello, friend. Oh, you're like right up on me, dude. Could you not? Is that a ceremonial dagger? Read the description. An ornate sacrificial dagger, wholly intact and still amazingly sharp. The elaborate carvings on the curious metallic surface signify a reptilian nature. Awesome. Oh, it's a trophy item. So I don't know if I had to come here. Um. Yeah, you're all statues now. Oh god, what's making that noise? Are you alive? I'm terrified. Oh god. This game is... It has such a good ominous feeling to it. Like, There's just enough going on to scare you, but not enough to overwhelm you. It's a good balance. I enjoy it thoroughly. What's going on over here? Some lizards? Also, if you notice in the background and on the bed... There's more Valhalla Gaming merchandise. Oh, as soon as I started talking. What's going on here? Who's going to try and eat my butthole this time? No ass eating for you. Oh, what is this? Oh, is this where we start traveling back in time? Hmm. Okay. Very well. Into this abandoned structure we go. No more. Harbor ourselves on the safest shores, for there are things that cannot be undone. What is that? Hi there. I don't like that at all. Not at all. Do we die? I swear to God, if that's the end of the game and it just starts you over in a cycle where you wake up and it's just like, I have a weird thing on my hand. I'm done. <laughs> oh, jeez. said, don't panic, and we're just here screaming bloody murder. Nope. Oh. We woke up. Was it all a nightmare? Am I just an odd individual having dreams of the occult now? Was, was that a sheer delusion? I hope that was a sheer delusion. I found a torch. Who actually calls it a torch? I mean, we called it moonbeam, so I guess I can't say anything. What is this? Oh, geez. Uh, having heightened my knowledge of the arcane arts, I find myself contemplating the subject of the universals. Whether definitions exist in the nature of things, or in mere conceptions, illusionary and perhaps a sheer product of human language. Our means of receiving in person impressions are absurdly few, and our notions of surrounding objects infinitely narrow. We see things only as we are constructed to see them, and gain no idea of their absolute nature. So what lies beyond the woven limits of the flesh we've been trapped in, and what is really possible to pass it at least once? What do we know of the world and the universe around us? For the last ten years of my rough life, I've lived the 
undulating echoes of those scorching questions that have rendered me a ghost among the flocks, but yesternight I finally got some answers. During the last session, Frank and I managed to get the printer to work, and even though the results are blurry, we have the first empirical proof of what we saw out there. Interesting. So what did you see out there? And also, I don't know what that bidink was. I'm sorry. It's probably one of my mini cell phones. We oh. Need to be cautious, not to let anyone else see this grand collection. It could be extremely dangerous for both of us. Are we Frank? Journal has been updated. Oh, what is this? Deliberately oh. preserved heads from Mesopotamian marshlands. Such cultivated minds kept in permanence by getting dried under the scorching sun with methods now lost to us. Why is this a thing? Also, where did his spinal column go? Does he just not have one? Are they all three, like, super... Yeah, they're all the same. They're just heads. What is this? A stuffed subadult Nile crocodile. One of the oldest creatures still living on the face of the earth. Is this game going to say the lizard people evolved into the Nile crocs? Crikey. Oh, jeez. A medicine man mask from northwest Africa. As I've said before. Aliens. Also, I'm in, I'm in East Africa, not West. A sacrifice ritual mask from Middle Africa. Oh, nothing from East Africa? Racist. East Coast is the Beast Coast. Let's go. What's happening down here? What's in the bag? Looks like a preparation for a long What's in the box? Who put a dick in the box? All you guys out there starting your Christmas shopping, that is not a good gift. Like a I'm telling you now. Ooh, what are you? This relic is from Madagascar. I have two versions, but this one is extremely rare. It is called Ur Hanaldi. Nobody knows exactly what it means, but from its symbolic depiction of a dark sphere inside a light one, it is thought that it could mean... The Underworld. I suppose this is the other one. Yes. Okay. Open the door. Oh, music started. This is exactly it's in here. The same room I've been in, in one of my visions. It was, yeah. Oh, there's that stupid plant. There's Antarctica. I have no idea which part we're actually in. There's a world map. Is he saying the universe is flat? Or the earth is flat? I have no idea what that is. What is this? Give me the pottery. According to legend, this very djembe belonged to a learned drummer from Senegal who can speak with the dead by rhythmically beating it. Is that a... A native drum from the Asmat people of New Guinea. Their creation myth says Fumeripits made the first carvings of men and women. By beating on this drum, Fumeripits caused the figures to dance, bringing them to life. Curious how true any of this is, because if it is, there's some awesome history lessons in this game. It's a penguin! Oh, I don't... figurine. Okay, so I don't get... Is that just a trophy item? The penguin's a trophy? Of course it is. Anything in the bookshelves? Anything over here? Give me the pot. What's in the pot? Nothing? Okay. Anything over here? Skull, clock, globe. Alright, this way we go. Why are there so many candles? Who's been maintaining these? Don't you know it's dangerous to leave candles burning in your room? What is this? I assume I have to put something on it, maybe? Okay. Let's open up the... Is this another burial mask from Africa? Woodland Lizard Spirit Mask. From where? A serpentine ritual mask from India. India. Which is said to have hypnotic effects on the one who deeply gazes into its eyes. They lied. I'm gazing. No effects. Liars. Close that. Uh, what is this? Oh, journal entry. 
Oh god, I'm not gonna read that. That is way too much. If you want to read that, pause it, read it, and we continue. What's going on over here? Another book? Close these. Anything else? No. So there's a phonograph cylinder. Oh, what's on the desk? Another... Oh boy, that's also another long entry, so... Pause. Read. Let's continue. What is this? Some kind of weird machine. And there's the glove. Secondary part, primary part. What does it do? That's the glove that we're wearing outside of this dream reality. Oh. That looks Asian. Maybe Indian. Mask of an all powerful moon god. Eastern Island Tribe. Eastern Island Tribe. Now lost in time. It is from the private collection of the late famous hermit. Klaus von Herdeth. Don't ask me how I get it. I have my ways. Did he murder somebody to get it? Ooh. What's over here? I'm very curious about all this. I'm sorry. Mask from the submerged parts of Kugulin Islands. Where are the Kugulin Islands? If anybody knows where the Kugulin... Oh, God. This looks like a predator. With an untraced origin. Or not a predator, but an alien from Aliens... What is this? This is called the Mask, mask of, the of the Beholder. Put it on. There's way too many masks in here, dude. So that's locked. We've got something over here on our left. Not really sure what goes on. Oh. Maybe this. So what's... Do I have the... All I have is a flashlight. So I have to find something to put in there. Okay. To be, what? Hmm. It sounded like the floor is hollow. Ah, there. secret chambers, huh? This Harry Potter now in the Chamber of Secrets. Oh, now I have to find something to pry the floor up with. Damn it! Is there anything in here to pry the floor up with? There's a toolbox. Let me open the toolbox. All right, I'm gonna look for whatever it takes to pry this open, and we'll be back in a just a moment. Why? Okay, we've gotten it open. I found the crowbar. What is this? Ooh, very nice. That's mine now. Some type of phonograph cylinder. Okay, got that going for us. So let's put that in the phonograph. When using Cornarium, we are able to be seen as well as to see. For some time, I was detecting a conscious something previously unseen by my rudimentary vestiges only lately it becomes clear to me now it comes into every session it seems to materialize more and more each time I won't I won't attempt describing it but only would say that it's not benevolent from what I can get from its glowing semblance which I believe is used as a way of communication can sense you only if you spend a considerable time within the sessions. I've read about it in the Cursed Necronomicon and some elusive records compiled Book from of the Dead, eh? With oral literature. Thus learned that it tries reaching the corporeal vessel to dominate and execute the wanderers of the beyond, such as ourselves. But again, against all warnings, I was a fool to believe that I can stop it with just simple signs and incantations. Sound like an anti-vaxxer. Resort, we ended up lighting up the place with myriads of candles as well as electrical lamps. But still shiver with fear with every noise our rundown enclave is causing. Isolated from ancient darkness of the night. Can I not open this now? Okay, there we go. So that must be the key to you. Yep. Let's see what's in the basement. I don't like going into people's basements. Basements are kind of spooky. Whoa. What? It's another puzzle. Okay. Um, let's look at our notebook. Uh, do we have any drawings? Nope. Documents. 
journal. Mm. Okay, there's probably a drawing of this somewhere. We just have to find it, eh? So let me see. So what is it? It's a three code combination? Yeah. Okay, so it's a three code combination. Not really sure how we open it. Maybe there's another drawing in here. Yes, yes, maybe. Does not look like any drawings that would tell me much. All right, so we're gonna cut again as I try and figure this noise out. Apologize for all the cuts. Some of these puzzles are kind of boring, honestly, and I just don't wanna drag y'all through it. So see everybody in just a few moments. Hey, we got it. Awesome. I think. Did we get it? Awesome. Let's continue on our creepy journey here. That's a big hole in the ground. Anything over here? Another phonograph, huh? It's over here. Oh! Hello, Cthulhu! Highly ornamental wooden masks. Cephaloid. Cephalod. I'd sell a thought. I don't know how to say that. Octopus. Just looking at it gives me the shivers. Oh, it's a trophy. Um. Well, if this room has. Oh, can I take the shovel, maybe? Who's been digging holes in their basement? Are you calling me fat? He's calling me fat. I hope the ladder doesn't get out of here. Don't you know that's rude? This is dangerous. What kind of sane person does this? If you're trapped in a house, break the window and get the f out. Like, it's not that hard. This is why you can only put white people in scary movies, though, because we don't do the simple things. I'm going to turn around and there's going to be something in my face. I know my luck. Just mentally preparing myself. The ladder has changed. And the rock formations have. Oh my. Flashlight. Quite ornate. Oh boy, here we go. The spook has begun. What is that? Now oh, there's a door right here. Maybe I can open that. Can't do anything until I... Oh. Oh boy, what are you? You're a mummy of some kind. What is this? I remember this place. And what we achieved here. Violating the laws of nature with the help of those dead bodies brought here secretly from only God knows where. Forcing them to cooperate by the means of the cursed necromancy. And dreaming their dreams in those profane sessions to learn forbidden knowledge. Now I can distinctly see how pure madness once roamed here within our own shoes. Sounds like we were doing some things that we shouldn't have been doing with some dead bodies, and you call it necromancy, but, uh... I, I don't know what you were doing. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, you call it necromancy, I don't know which... I, mean, I call it playing with dead bodies, and you shouldn't be doing that no matter who you are. There a cylinder over here anywhere. Would like to hear the story about what's going on. Probably in this room over here. Oh, there's multiple rooms. It's stuck. stuck. Of course it is. What about you? Locked. Alright, so there's more... I remember this place. Okay, that's just a repeat of last time. Okay. Um, I don't think there's... Do I have to go back up that stupid ladder? Oh, nope. Got another one of you, and another... Oh god, that was super bright. Don't know what that does, but we're gonna figure it out. Let's put the cylinder in. It is said that ancient conariums have the ability to transfer one's mind outside, through the endless vacuum into other receiving conariums. 
Just think about the possibility of shedding off the earthbound mortal coil to reach to the stars and yonder as a free agent to see the grand scheme above and beyond the third dimension. Being able to contemplate vistas and sense things you could never ever dream of with the help of the bodily sensations. Finally, we shall overleap time, space, and dimensions, and without bodily motion, peer to the bottom of creation. Yes, I, I know how this sounds to you. All right, I'm going to skip that, unfortunately. So let's see, is this going to give us... Yep, same thing. Okay. So i got to figure out where this coin thingy goes that we just got. Um, I have no idea where this coin thingy goes. Locked. Locked. Maybe we go back up? Alright. Oh, because we still had that door that was locked, so let's go up this. There is still that door that's locked upstairs, so maybe now that we have this weird star symbol thingy, we can figure that out. Why am I stuck? There we go. Come on, game. Can I open you yet? No. Uh, the star goes in here? It did! Oh. That's pretty cool, I guess. I don't exactly remember this device, but the projected image is the same with the star map I've seen on the dome and the underground level of the pre-human city. What was it that Dr. Faust was looking for? The answers to life, the universe, and everything in between. I don't know. Well, we've opened that, but I wonder, like, what does that do? I don't exactly remember this device, but the projected image is the okay, so this is going to make us do it again. Uh, I just want to figure out this puzzle. There's so much that we have to answer in this game. What was he looking for? What was he doing? Why was he playing with dead bodies? Do we go back downstairs now? Maybe in his office? I mean, we know what he was looking for. Clearly, he was looking for lizard mummies. Stop closing this door. I need it open. Alright, so we're going to go downstairs and see if that opened up anything now that we know about the star map. I'm just going to skip this right quick. Alright, now that we know about the star map... Is there anything... Oh, why did my lights just go out? The power in the house just went out. Lovely. Oh, and they're back. <laughs> Thankfully. But, uh, unfortunately... Pretty much out of time for today's episode... Uh, I guess we'll have to leave off here and trying to figure out what to do with that star map. Yeah, we'll have to leave off here with that star map and try and figure out what we're doing. Because I have absolutely no... Wait, secrets? Okay, that's interesting. I didn't know we had a section for secrets. Internet disconnected. Lovely. Anyway, <laughs> I keep getting off topic. Longest outro ever. Thank y'all for joining I, me, English. Don't forget to check out the new merch. There's tapestry, there's blanket, there's phone cases. That's actually my Galaxy S7. Galaxy S8. Looks pretty nice. I like them. And then, of course, you have my Galaxy, which just has my sticker on the back, because the hard cases are not out yet. Uh, the hard cases will be coming out soon, but anyway... Probably going to do a Yule Thanksgiving sale, so keep an eye out for that. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.